So at the very end of the Pokemon Legends ZA trailer, we saw that Mega Evolutions are going to be returning. We don't really fully know exactly what this means. This could just mean that we finally get to have Mega Evolutions again, but I'm really hoping this means we're going to get some new Mega Evolutions that we haven't ever seen before. And there are a total of about, I think, 46 Mega Evolutions out of the like 1,000 Pokemon total. So there really aren't too many Mega Evolutions, and what's even more crazy is there's only one Generation 6 or Kalos region Pokemon that has a Mega Evolution. Also guys, if you don't mind leaving a like and subscribing to the channel, it really helps so much, and I seriously appreciate any of you guys that do support the channel. We haven't seen Mega Evolutions in a game since Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, which would be about 7 years from the release of Legends ZA, which is crazy, that's almost 10 years, it's, that's insane to me. So, it's about time Mega Evolutions are coming back, and I think Mega Evolutions are definitely the best, like, evolution gimmick thing that are in Pokemon games. They're super awesome, and I'm really glad that they're back, or going to come back. So firstly, I really think and hope that we're going to get some Mega Evolutions for the Kalos starters, whether or not we actually can choose those starters within the game, because Legends Arceus, we had just a different, you know, starter Pokemon trio than the Sinnoh region, so we can kind of predict that we're going to get different starters that are not the Gen 6 starters, but, but hopefully we'll get Generation 6 starter Pokemon Mega Evolutions. So that would entail Mega Chestnut, Mega Delphox, and the coolest Mega Greninja. Mega Greninja, Greninja is a fan favorite, and I think that would also kind of pay respect to Ash not being in the anime anymore. And Greninja is already a super awesome Pokemon. I mean, I think the Gen 6 starters are really good, so I think a Mega Evolution out of all of them would be just amazing. And I think it would serve well to just give us those Mega Evolutions within this game because we're going back to Gen 6, we're going back to the Kalos region. I just think that would make sense. And also, in the trailer, we saw about 13 of the Kanto slash Generation 1 Pokemon, which were Pikachu, Raichu, Arbok, Weepin' Bell, Starmie, Pinsir, Gyarados, Vaporeon, Flareon, Jolteon, Aerodactyl, and Dragonite. So I'm going to assume that we're probably going to get at least one Mega Evolution from Generation 1 that we haven't already seen before. So that immediately crosses out Pinsir, Gyarados, and Aerodactyl because they already have Mega Evolution. So the other Pokemon I mentioned are definitely contenders for a new Mega Evolution. I think Dragonite would be the coolest out of all of them. I think they can make an insane Mega Evolution out of Dragonite. I mean, I take any Mega Evolution to be honest, but Dragonite for sure. I think a Mega Raichu would look awesome as well. So. Hopefully we'll see some Generation 1. I mean, it would be cool to see Mega Evolutions of the Eeveelutions, but I feel like if they do one, they have to do them all. So if like, they did Flareon, they're going to have to do all the other Eeveelutions, you know what I mean? They're going to have to do Jolteon and Vaporeon, I'd assume so, which would be great. But I just, I feel like they're not going to give us a ton of Mega Evolutions. I'm hoping they're going to add at least like 15 maybe, maybe 10 even, because it'll keep it special. It'll keep the Mega Evolution, you know, thing special. And there's a small chance that they might not even give us any new Mega Evolutions. We have no idea, but I'm going to guess that they will be because that would be a huge selling point of the game and it would bring up a lot of hype. We'll probably see it in one of the upcoming trailers. I'm going to, you know, predict we'll probably see some footage of a new Mega Evolution just for like a split second. Hopefully we'll get some trailers soon and, and hopefully we'll get some actual gameplay trailers as well. I also think Flygon would be a really great contender for Mega Evolution. He was actually supposed to get a Mega Evolution, but I think that nobody could like agree on a, a good design for him, so they just kind of scrapped it. So it'd be really cool to redeem Flygon and give him a Mega Evolution in the new game. I know a lot of people are also saying that as well. That's a big fan pick. Flygon's awesome. I, I actually shiny hunted him for the Indigo Disc and put him on my team for the DLC, which was pretty cool. And going back to the only Generation 6 Pokemon that has a Mega Evolution, that is Deonsei, or Diansei. I can never pronounce this Pokemon's name, I'm sorry guys, roast me in the comments, it's fine. But I, I feel like we're going to get more Generation 6 Mega Evolutions over anything. I feel like we'll probably get Mega Evolutions of Gen 6 and Gen 5, that's, that's my prediction. I'm hoping for a couple of Gen 6 Evolutions. Hopefully we get all the starters and then a couple more upon that, like maybe 6 total, that would be pretty cool. I'm not asking for a lot here. I don't think anyone's really asking for a lot. Like, I, I obviously don't expect them to give us a Mega Evolution for every single Pokemon that'll be in the game. 
I'm just hoping for some because Mega Evolutions are cool and we need to give some more Generation 6 respect with that Meg with the Mega Evolutions because I, I think it's crazy that there's only one Mega Evolution for a Generation 6 Pokemon. That's crazy and it's Deance or whatever the Pokemon's name is. Like out of all the other Pokemon, that's that's really the Mega Evolution that we have. So I'd also assume that we're going to get some Generation 9 Mega Evolutions in one way or another because Legend ZA is going to technically be within the Generation 9, like, realm, universe type of thing. It's also apparently right next to the Paldea region, and it, the reason I say it's within, like, the Generation 9 realm is because whenever they have, like, a series of Pokemon games, um, such as, like, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, the reason why Sinnoh was a big thing with um, Legends Arceus is because that technically takes place within Generation 4, but it's in the Hisui region, if that makes sense. So it's, like, it's this generation of Pokemon games... Not like Generation 9, I mean just more like series of games is all connected within one generation or region. I hope that makes sense. For you guys that know, that'll make sense, but if you're just hearing the, if you're just hearing this for the first time, it may not make sense. It, it's a little confusing, but yeah, so we're probably going to see some Generation 9 Pokemon within um, the game. And hopefully we'll have some of those Generation 9 Pokemon with some Mega Evolutions. I think a really cool Mega Evolution would be Tinkaton. I think he's a really good design, one of the best Generation 9 Pokemon in my opinion. And I think a Mega Evolution would look crazy alongside Seraledge and Armourouge. Those would look insane as a Mega Evolution. Those those are some really awesome designs. I think Seraledge might be the best design Generation 9 Pokemon. Gen 9 Pokemon, in my opinion, just don't have like the best design overall. They're, there's only a select few that I actually really like. But I feel like Seraledge and Armourouge would probably be some of the coolest Mega Evolutions in general. Seraledge over Armourouge, to be honest. I think Seraledge is definitely cooler than than uh, his counterpart, I'll say. Um, we could also probably get some Mega Evolutions, or new Mega Evolutions, I mean, of Pokemon that already have a Mega. Because we all know that you could do like the X and Y Evolution, which is just a different form, I guess. So maybe we'll have some previous Pokemon that already have an, a Mega Evolution get a new, updated, second Mega Evolution. And I think that would be really cool. And I'm also really curious to see what you guys think. Like, what Pokemon do you really want to have a Mega Evolution of? I mean, overall, like, in the end, I just hope that we get some. If, they, if we don't get any that I mentioned in this video, that's fine. I feel like the ones that we must have, though, are Generation 6 Starter at Mega Evolutions. And then just a couple more, you know... Hopefully we get at least 10, like I said. And are you guys hyped for Legends ZA? Because I'm I'm really excited. I'm really, really looking forward to this game. It's coming out in over, well, probably about a year. We don't know when in 2025, but it's coming out in 2025. And uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, guys, because I'm going to be doing videos about Legends ZA for probably until it comes out, to be honest. You know, I'm going to do trailer breakdowns, theories, different things that could be in the game. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.